starting with the Tecno Camon 30, which is the base phone for all the other phones in the series. For starters, in terms of design, triple camera design, but it is the only one that has an earphone jack. Type-C charging, dual speakers with Dolby Atmos, flash LED, indicator light, an infrared blaster, and a very nice, very slim bezeled, full HD plus AMOLED screen. It is the only one that has a dedicated slot for an extra memory card. With the full HD plus AMOLED screen, you get to enjoy fantastic crisp multimedia viewing and the audio oh -oh, is to die for. Because of the fact that it is not a 5G enabled phone, it means that it does not have a MediaTek Dimensity chipset. But the MediaTek Helio G99 chip that it has still is good for all the performance that you need from this phone. It is fast, responsive, and with the screen coming in at 120 hertz of refresh rate, this phone has a maximum of 12 GB RAM, expandable by an extra 12 GB, and a maximum of 256 GB of internal storage. Out of the box, the phone comes with iOS 14 on top of Android 14. The phone build is sturdy, the back is nicely textured, and of course, I really like this design. In the camera department, the camera can only shoot up to 2K at 30 frames per second. So if you want 60 frames per second, you might have to go down to 1080p. But interesting fact, this camera has a 50 megapixels main camera, but it can shoot up to 100 megapixels. There's a 100 megapixels mode on the Camon 30. One of the features that has been available in the Camon 30 series is the newest AI GC portrait mode. One of the most impressive camera features that I am noticing that starts from the base model is the wide selfie. It's almost like a panorama shot selfie. This gives you selfie width that I have honestly not seen with other devices. So, especially for this, kudos to Tecno. In terms of battery and charging speeds, this Camon 30, like each and every phone in the series, comes with a 5,000 mAh battery. But the charging speed for the Camon 30 is capped at 45 watts, where the rest are capped at 70 watts. So if 31,499 is an amount that you have, well, this is a good phone to start with. So